Hello, this is Junhua from TCM Explained. In this video, we are going to talk about TCM patterns of weight P, abdominal discomfort. Weight means stomach and P means discomfort. There are various translations of this word, such as focal distension, glomus, stuffiness, and so on. Weight P refers to the uncomfortable feeling in the epigastrium that is felt by the patient. But when we press the area, we find it soft and there's not much resistance. This type of discomfort in the epigastrium is often seen in stomach-related issues such as gastritis or functional dyspepsia. Our first pattern is exterior cold. As we know, the lung channel starts from the stomach region. So when we have an exterior invasion, our stomach can be affected as well. Also, the spleen is the zhang fu pair of the stomach and the tai yin pair of the lungs. So the spleen may be affected as well. For this pattern, we can consider using xiang su san formula. Su ye is an exemplar herb that releases the exterior and regulates qi. It resolves the stuffiness in the middle. And we have two more qi regulating herbs, xiang fu and chan pi. Xiang Fu regulates liver qi, and Chan Pi harmonizes the middle. It also transforms phlegm and stops cough. If there is a pain in the epigastrium because coldness contracts and causes pain, we can add Gao Liang Jiang. Gao Liang Jiang and Xiang Fu together are called Liang Fu Wan. Next is food stagnation, which is pretty common these days. This is the discomfort due to overeating. The formula for food stagnation is Bao He Wan. These are the main herbs that reduce food stagnation. Shanjia is good for meat and oily foods. Shanchu for alcohol and fermented foods. And Lai Fu Zi for grains such as rice or noodles. It also has an action of descending qi which is beneficial for returning stomach qi to normal state. Ban xia, chan pi, and fu ling are good for transforming phlegm and stopping nausea. And lian qiao clears heat from the stagnation. Stagnation of excess can build up heat over time. Phlegm damp pattern is due to excess yin from the spleen deficiency. The spleen fails to transform and transport fluids causing these signs and symptoms. For this pattern, we can consider using Er Chan Ping Wei San. Bao He Wan in the last pattern had Ban Xia Chan Pi and Fu Ling for the phlegm as well. If the tongue coating is thick and greasy, Chang Zhu is good one to choose. Ho Po reduces distension and bloating. That's it for today and we will continue the rest of the patterns in the next video.